Hello, since I've had the alarm back on the road I've noticed a problem that's got worse and worse with the clutch. Um, I'm pretty certain it's in the master cylinder. So after I've left it a period of time um, and depressed the clutch pedal, there's no pressure in the system. But if you operate the clutch pedal a number of times you could get pressure back in there. So I think it must be a non-return valve that's in the master cylinder that prevents fluid, when you push the pedal, prevents fluid from coming back into the reservoir. So I've got a master cylinder seal kit and I'm going to take this to bits um, and see if I can see the problem. But anyway, I'm going to change it and hopefully that will resolve it. Noticed it a little bit on the brake pedal as well, so I'm going to do the same with the brake master cylinder. The push rod comes out by removing this little clip. shows you that little clip. This piston has got a spring behind it so there should be a spring pushing it out so it should want to come out. So it may need a tap, it may need to push it in and let it push back out, we'll see. The little piston won't pop out just by me depressing it and letting the spring push it out. <coughs> so I've got um, a, a pump for the tyres, an electric pump, so I'm going to try some low pressure um, behind it to see if it pushes it out. I've just got this blanket here to catch everything in case it fires out. So let's see what happens. I'm just going to hold this in and block the little vent hole. <coughs> Well, that worked. I think I was up to about 5 psi then. These, uh, this and the brake master cylinder ones that I got new about, I don't know, 25 years ago and then they've been in storage. So could be why I'm having problems because the maybe the rubber seals don't like to stand that long. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so that's all come out as one unit. And yeah, that seems pretty clean. I'm going to get a light shine down that, so see if I can show you what it's like. So that's um, with a light. As I'm pulling this back, um, I assume that seal on the end should pop out of this yellow piece and seal against the end of the um, the hole. And, on the bottom of that bore and as I pull it back it seems, oh there we are, it's moving. It was a bit resistant to moving so I wonder if that was my problem. Um, anyway, I've got the new seal kit. I think this little metal tab is sat down at this end so I think it just needs levering up and it should allow that piece to come off. Yep, that was it. Oh, I see. And down here, there's a little like uh, keyhole slot that that um, pin is sat in. Hope you can see that. So if I push that down and release the pin, it should just come out. There we are. So maybe you can see that. And this now drops off there. There's a spring washer. Ah, so that's the thing. That little spring washer is the bit that should allow, or should push this, I guess, out of. Oh, it's very light. So it wouldn't have taken much pressure um, or stiction or something somewhere to stop that from popping back out. So I think that's the one. Oh yes, look, there we go. So that little spring washer pushes that seal out against the end of the cylinder where the little hole is coming from the reservoir. So I think something was 
sticking and stopping that from pushing that out. Good, right, that seems clear. So I think I can change the rubber seals. I'll just get the kit of bits. So that must be the one that goes on here. That way up. Where does this one go? Don't know where that goes at the moment, and that must be on the end of here. There you go. I've just dipped that in brake fluid, so push this on. There we go. That seems to go. Okay. Just to avoid stabbing myself in the finger. Uh, now this is the new seal. Must go on that way. Um, dipped the end of this in new brake fluid. Let's see if I can push this on. Oh yes, that's gone on nicely. I have no idea where this other one goes. Maybe this seal works for a number of different master cylinders of similar type, but nope. Um, not got anything like that one. So I think I can reassemble it. So this was the very fine spring washer. Which was the rather critical. Then the little piece that the that then seal springs out of, so it's springing out nice and easily. And then the spring and this thimble type affair with its keel slot. And then this plunger piston, um, which just pops in there and then I need to push that little metal tag down. Great. Again, avoided stabbing myself in the finger, which is always good. And that little assembly should go back in the master cylinder. I guess the tricky bit is this seal is um, a larger diameter than the actual bore. Oh, there is a taper on the entrance, so hopefully it'll just squish that down. I'll just lubricate that a little bit with um, brake fluid. Oh yeah, well that's gone in nicely. Sorry if I missed that on camera, but it's just pushed in pretty easily. I would say that's running smoother than it was before, or easier, not as sticky. There should be some grease on the end of here, so I'll just find some grease and then I'll clip that back in, but I think that's pretty easy to understand how that works. So there we go, one master cylinder seal kit. Um, I've got the brake one to do as well. I assume it'll be just the same principle. I've got the seal kit for that one. Here we are. Um, seems to have the same seals in, so I assume it'll be the same. If there's any difference, I'll video that as well. I'm going to change the seal in the slave cylinder as well, so I've got that off. I'm just going to push out the piston um, using that little air pressure technique. Let's see what happens. Okay, that worked well. Hopefully I caught that on the camera. Um, this is the seal kit. Um, so that big seal there is clearly the one here. That's a little cover for the bleed nipple. 
and they go for the end. But there's a small seal again, which I cannot find a place for. The cylinder's nice and clean. So I'm going to change this big seal. So that's off. It all looks beautiful and clean. So this is the new seal, which should go on there. Oh, I'll have to just put a bit of clean brake fluid on. And then I'm going to pop it back in. Um, so no idea what that one's for. Hmm, curious. So I've got some clean brake fluid on there now. Let's make sure there's some on that face. Inside there. Let's see if I can push it on without. Ah, there we go. Straight on. So I think that can pop straight back in there. Um, hmm. It looks as though it doesn't really want to go in, but I'm sure it must. Try not to damage that edge. Took it in. There we go. And it's in. Good. So pop that back on the car and get the clutch blood.